Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We'll show you guys how to test a cam camshaft position sensor on BMW. If you have a Beamer guys, most of them will use that procedure. So you don't have to waste money on buying a new sensor guys. So uh, just a quick intro guys, we'll be taking that whole Beamer apart and we'll have more than 200 videos on our repair guys. We just hit 63,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for the support. And please subscribe to this channel for more electrical videos and components. So, you have two, usually, you have two camshaft position sensors, depending on the model. This is an E90 mo model. So, you have exhaust camshaft position sensor on the 325, 328, and intake. Okay, right here. This is the one that we removed. Let me show you how you test them now. You have to go inside the vehicle and you have to turn the key on. Okay, but stay out of the way. Do not start the car. Okay, let me show you. Okay, trying to get light. You can see, ignition is on, car is not running. And it shouldn't be because the camshaft position sensor is removed. You're going to leak oil, it's going to be a big mess. You have your fingers there, Mike, cut your fingers, the belt. You don't have to take all that stuff apart. We just did it because we're rebuilding the car. You have to set the voltmeter at volts, okay? You have to have the black LED, okay, the black wire of the voltmeter connected to a negative, to a ground on the vehicle. This is where the ground is, right there. We have the jump starter because the battery is a little bit dead, so we can demonstrate you guys. And now, on the camshaft position sensor usually, okay, you have on this side, okay, you can see numbers 1, 2, and 3. That's how the wires are uh, named, 1, 2, and 3. Number 1, okay, we cut it open a little bit. There is a special tool that you can use so you don't have to pinch a hole in it. We don't have it, so we cut it open. We connected the red wire here on number 1, number 1 wire, black one on negative. Now, you can see the voltmeter, okay, reads 5 volts. If you get a metal object, okay close close to the sensor okay you're going to have okay let me get zero volts okay check it out five volts let's go again zero volts so you know that it works that's what happens with the camshaft it goes has two spots i believe every 180 degrees it reads five volts okay and zero volts you can see just like that so if it doesn't work guys you have different numbers or you will have no numbers at all. Okay, so that's that's the way we know to test them. Some people try, try to do them on the bench, but I don't think it's possible to get accurate readings. So hopefully the video is helpful, guys. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.